So why is it important to know what type of heart disease is present? So you know your pet has a heart murmur, for example, or maybe an abnormal heart rhythm or something suggesting there's heart disease there and they seem normal to you. So why do you really need to know what's going on? Well, as we said, heart disease is usually progressive and it progresses at different rates depending on the different types of diseases, but also the different breeds and sometimes the age of onset. So if a, a pet has developed a certain type of heart disease younger, maybe they'll have a slightly faster progression than if they develop it, say, at 10 or 11 years old. And if we know the exact cardiac diagnosis, it can make it easier to predict the rate and the likelihood of progression from an asymptomatic stage, so a, a period where your dog or cat has absolutely no symptoms or outward signs to you at all, they seem normal, right through to that congestive heart failure stage where they've got fluid accumulation and they're having difficulty breathing. And if we have a correct diagnosis, and this means that we know more than just that there's a heart murmur there or the heart's a bit big, we know exactly what's going on uh, because we've done our ultrasound and we, we can actually stage the disease and say it's mild or moderate or advanced. Uh, mitral valve disease or dilated cardiomyopathy or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and we've made some measurements of the heart chamber we know exactly what's going on then we can assess the significance or the risk um, so for example if your pet needs an elective anesthetic so for a dental um, or an emergency anesthetic you know we know whether that's a risk we can take we can also inform you um, as the owners much more meaningfully in terms of do you need to make any changes to exercise regime or feeding or weight loss or anything like that? Um, we can also talk to you about monitoring versus treatment. Do we actually need to treat or can we just keep an eye on this? Or is it advanced enough that we need to actually start treating? We can also talk about the treatment options and what effect they may have on quality of life and uh, longevity, so length of life.